last member of that branch of the family was a wee lady called Mrs. Catherine Bruce. And Burns wanted to meet her because she was a Jacobite. And her husband had been a very good friend of Bonnie Prince Charlie. This is like 1787. So this is what, 40 years after the Jacobite rebellion. So she's one of the last people alive who had um, the folk memory of what happened. And Dr. Dare says that when they came to Clapmanet Tower, they found this little old lady and she was sitting in a great big chair. And suddenly she pulled from under the chair this huge forward. And I didn't know what she was going to happen next. She told Burns to, to kneel down in front of her. And she knighted him. And she said, I have more right to do this than anyone else. Because she considered herself to be a descendant of the king. And then she said, arise, Sir Robert. And I think, according to Dr. Adair, I think he sort of gave her a little kiss, pecked on the cheek. And she grabs him by his lapels, pulled him in and said, what's wrong with my mouth? and got a, a very nice intimate kiss. And the next day, Burns then goes to Dunfermline Abbey and kisses the floor of the nave where he thinks the king is buried. So the family get two kisses from Robert Burns in 24 hours. That, that's, that's a silly story. But... <laughs>